If you clicked on this, it's because you had the same problem that I had. I was way too kind and I got walked on. And I'm just going to be totally blunt and honest. And I'm not saying that kindness is a bad thing. You should be kind because the difference between being a kind man and a nice guy, nice guy syndrome is I'm going to be nice to this girl because I want her to sleep with me. I'm going to be nice to her because I want something. No, when I'm kind to a man or to a woman, it's because I felt like it, because I wanted to, because the right thing to do, because it's what Jesus would do. Now, the first thing you need to do is understand who you're dealing with. What I want you to do right now is think back to somebody in particular, somebody that you might be suspicious of. Maybe this is why you clicked this video. Is it true that you're always doing something for said person, but whenever you ask for anything, it just can't happen? Even if it's something as simple as, hey, we should go for a walk. Hey, we should catch up. But when they want something from you, you give, 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 and you're just not getting anything back. And again, this is platonic and romantic. You can have a guy you thought was your best friend. Like, you oh, he's the homie. And all of a sudden, he's just distancing himself from you. Maybe he got a girlfriend. He thinks he's too good for you now. And all of a sudden, we can't hang out. We can't talk. We can't do this. Don't, don't feed into that grind set crap of, but I work 70 hours a week. If you really like somebody, you want to be there for somebody, again, friendship, romantic, whatever, you will make the time. Because if you can work 70 hours per week, you probably have good time management. Because only people with crazy time management can work 70, 60 hours a week and not go insane. So those people, if they're saying, oh, I have no time for you, that's crap, that's garbage. Occasionally it might happen. There are some times where all you can do is work, eat, sleep, work, eat, sleep. But for extended, prolonged period of time, like... A month maybe even two months if someone just disappeared then they were probably using you or example you can try this like if you're if somebody's always asking you and again even in a relationship setting if they're always saying like oh you know we should we should Netflix and chill and they're always doing that stuff but you're just like hey why can't we go mini golf and it's like no but you can totally come to my place that that is, you're being used like you're obviously being used and manipulated and a lot of times we let feelings get in the way which is what i'm going to say in the third tip but for the second tip you need to understand that business is business sometimes things are just business what am i getting at i had a personal training thing right i tried i only had one or two people pay i think it was two people both of them were highly satisfied things just happen you know whether we're just not in a situation where you can train together or whatever it is but for the most part People are highly satisfied with my training, but what kept happening is, I'll pay you next week. Now we're friends, we're cool, I'll pay you next week. And again, there were some instances where I was like, okay, we, we can just be training buddies. Like if you can't afford for the full coaching experience, you can just come down here to my rinky dink basement gym, which is I think has gotten me pretty good gains, and we can train together. I'm not gonna be your dietitian. I'm not gonna analyze your form if you go to another gym. I'm not gonna give you sets and rep schemes. I'm not gonna program for, I'm not gonna do this, 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 and this, right? Again, unless I'm being kind and I'm doing it out of the kindness of my heart. But again, as I'm saying in this video, there have been times where somebody comes to me, they pull out my heartstrings. Hey, I'm 100 pounds overweight. We knew each other in middle school. And then I help them and I say, hey, I'm in a rough spot. I need a little bit of cash. And all of a sudden, their bank account's dry. But then they post on Instagram, whether, whether, whether it's a money spread or, hey, I'm out with my girl. It's like, oh, you're telling me that wasn't expensive. I know inflation's hard, but I'm literally coaching you. You can't throw me a bone. So when stuff like that happens, that's when you know. you It is not a give and take thing. Your kindness is being taken advantage of. The fact that you want to help people, which is me, I want to help people, it's being taken advantage of. So when I say business is business, I look at this YouTube channel, right? Putting ads on my videos is something that I'm going to do when I get monetized because again, I need to eat too and I am looking to set up a second stream of income. But I'm still kind in the sense that I do really want to help you guys. So again, when I say business is business, do not let somebody get in the way of your success, of your status, of your money. And again, Christian, right? I said status, I said money. Those are worldly things. You're not supposed to live under a cardboard box under the bridge. Jesus, I mean, he does say sell your possessions and give to the poor, but if everybody did that, everybody would starve to death. There'd be no agriculture, electricity, etc. right? So again, you are supposed to be generous, but don't let people pulling at your kindness get in the way of your success, of your money, of your future, right? Your future. Don't let people pull at that because they will. That's when I say business is business. Don't let people get in the way of that. For the sweating because this basement's pretty hot and humid. The third thing you need to do is practice being more logical. Now, how does this apply to people abusing your kindness? Because a lot of times people will pull at your emotions. This is especially true with romantic things. And yes, again, people will ask for a receipt. No, I've never been in a serious 
relationship that I have broadcasted to the public. Not one that I've been proud of, okay? I was 18 and stupid, 19 and stupid, 19 and a half and injured, 20 and injured, can't go outside, couldn't walk. Anyways, it's a long story. But anyways, in a romantic setting, because I have a lot of guys that have been in relationships, I know a lot of girls that I'm friends with platonically that have been in relationships. A lot of times when someone breaks up with you and they try to get you back, it's, but think about the good stuff. There is a girl watching this. If a dude is like mentally or especially physically abusing you, like this is not funny, smile just faded because that is disgusting, he's gonna try. Like if, if he thinks you're hot or whatever, he's gonna be like, oh, but babe, you know, remember all the good stuff we did. Don't, 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 trust me, don't. Don't go back to that crap. Like, especially my dudes, I'll be like, okay, think about the good stuff. What about the time she banged a dude on her couch? Was she thinking about the good stuff? No, she was thinking about his good stuff. Now that, that's really mean, harsh, and a little bit funny, but it kind of drives the point home where he's like, damn, all right, you know what? You did me wrong. I'm not letting it happen again. I know it's hard, but when people pull out your emotions, it's the best way to take advantage of someone's kindness. And I don't know that from doing it. I know that because it's been done to me. I've figured out that the best way to take advantage of someone's kindness is to appeal to emotion. Like my business is business point. A lot of times when a friend would ask for help, they would point out the fact that I used to be fat. They would point out the fact that I was made fun of and then I got jacked and I got made fun of less. And that pulled at my heartstrings and I'd say, okay, I don't want you to suffer through that. So I'm going to help you for free. But then it drains so much of my time, my energy. And again, I do want to be kind, but I can't treat you like a full on client because now I have to treat everybody like a full on client. And now that's not fair. Why does Billy have to pay 40 bucks a session, which is basically 20 an hour, but Cindy doesn't? Now everyone thinks I have a crush on Cindy because I'm not making her pay. You understand what I'm trying to say here? It's hard to be more stoic. It's hard to be more logical, but the greatest way to take advantage, this is not advice, don't do this, but the greatest way to take advantage of someone's kindness is to appeal to their emotion. And I know someone's gonna take this and they're gonna be like, oh, this is a dark Sigma technique and they're gonna try it on somebody. But the reason I'm telling you is because I want the opposite. I want you to realize that this person being like, yeah, but what about that time we, we played cards together or we watched a movie together, or we did this and it was so fun. And you're gonna go back to an abusive person. Or again, even in a friendship thing, it's like, oh yeah, but we hung out like once four months ago. You should totally send me 500 bucks. No, but I kind of wrap this up. I'm starting to stray further and further away from being fitness and more just being Logan, but I don't want to change my name again. And I am about fitness. I think fitness is great. I'm still obsessed with testosterone and the endocrine system, but I have been fitness antagonist. Thank you for listening. See you next time.